Okay, uh, today we're at uh, Storm on Grounds in Northern Ireland. It's, uh, the building there on the right hand side you will see in photographs is one of the most uh, famous buildings and uh, full of clowns lately. But anyway, that's another story. Uh, <laughs> we're talking today, or uh, the, day, uh, the Belgian project is meeting today, a man I wanted to interview for a few, a few times because he has a bit of a strange combination. He does cycling but also rock and roll. Andy McGibbon from the Trail Demons uh, in uh, Logan. Andy, hey Donny, how are you? Good, good, thanks. Yeah, uh, okay. I hope you're not too afraid of the microphone here. In no, uh, I've seen them before. I've seen them before. You know, before. Yeah. not as good looking at this one. No, now. no. <laughs> so, Andy, how did you all start with your racing? Uh, racing, uh, I was. I did a bit when I was a child with Clan Earn and Lurgan, um, and then uh, I went away, travelled a bit in my youth, and then when I came back, I joined Apollo in my twenties with Miles and Andy and yeah. and uh, Marty Rogers and yeah. Vince McKenna and them boys so yeah, that's where I met you I think yeah 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 yeah, yeah so uh, yeah so that's yeah. where I started right. yeah and, uh, and uh, could you remember uh, your first bike the first racing bike A racing bike yeah yeah it was an old rally steel frame thing right the first the first decent bike I ever had if you could call it that was a a rally bomber, right. which was a, more of a beach cruiser, but we thought they were, we would have thought they were more mountain bikes, and we didn't use them for beach cruising. There's not a, there's not a lot of beaches in Lurgan, you know, so uh, we jumped them and did things, yeah. raced on them and did things like that, just just as kids playing in the park, you know. Uh, but you prefer more the off-road, do you, than uh, actually the the road himself? No, I actually prefer the road, but um, you do. But right. Yeah, it's just just with a band, it's very difficult to. Yeah. It's very difficult to balance, and then you know, kids. Obviously, I've got kids now, and I'm, uh, I help help out with the club, and um, uh, so we've got a lot of kids to look after. So off road's better for the youngsters, you know. Yeah, yeah. But how do you? Yes, I came to that question anyway. Rock and roll, and Andy McGibbon and yeah. the Bonnevilles. Yeah. What's that all about? Yeah, well, it's just just my band. It's my job. It's what I do. Yeah. You know, um, I've always I never really wanted to be a cyclist. I always wanted to be a musician. Yeah. So that's that's what I do. But I, I love cycling too. It's my sort of it's my other obsession. You know. So how do you manage after a gig who maybe end up three o'clock in the morning and uh, nine o'clock in the morning you hear uh, doing your yeah, rounds? Yeah. Well, if if I get in really late, I won't race. Right. Um, it's I, I've tried to do that and it doesn't work. Um, you, you, I ended up one time damaging my health, trying to do both. I, I, I got exhausted, so... Uh, they have pills for that, you know? Oh, I hear, yeah, 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 yeah they don't, they, not in our house, they don't, yeah. Uh, yeah. you also one of the, uh, not, f well, one of the founders, really, of Bike Pure as well, together with Daniel A. Yeah, well, you, you I, I wouldn't say a founder, but yeah, I helped out from the start, you know, I was always on hand to, to, to do what I could to, to, to assist, really, just, to t I took direction and did what I was asked, you know, which I was happy to do, because I'm, I'm still a big believer in Bike Pure, and I think it was a necessary uh, organization to appear when it did, you know. Yeah, especially with what happened in the last 10, 15 years when all these things come out. You it know. needed to come from the grassroots because yeah. the UCI weren't listening. Yeah. Um, so you needed grassroots organizations like Andy Lay and then the sponsors of that and Skins and things yes. like that and Greg Lamond and yeah. those guys all come just, you know, and, and, and representing us, you know, us fans who were disgusted, you know. Well, the Belgian Project is also Belgian Project. Belgian Project is also an ambassador of Bike Pure. Exactly, yeah. uh, we're very proud of that. Uh, and, uh, so uh, we, we, we try Try to always put that up front and let the lads know there is a way of winning without yeah. the shite, you yeah. know, as such, you know. Yeah. But uh, so, Andy, it was great to talk to you. It was a while ago, you know. And uh, you also uh, thanks for uh, supporting us again with the Belgian project because uh, we do that now for four or five years now. Yeah. We oh, just super yeah. think and uh, your demon trailer. So uh, more than welcome because all the little ones help. That stuff that I don't have to buy, Andy. Yeah, you know, well, so to me that sponsorship, you know, so and I'm very grateful for that. Andy, it was great to talk to you. Thanks, uh, thanks. Your last single was again Lurgan something. What oh, was no, it? long Lurgan, yeah. Yeah, and uh, it was a bit horror, horror-y uh, yeah. affair. <laughs> uh, you were bitten twice by a beautiful yeah. lady, but yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Just, but in the magic of film, you know, you're back here normal and uh, yeah, are you now real or are you uh, one of the zombies now? Uh, well, I think if I'm, a, if I'm a zombie, I might go a bit faster today. So yeah. I'm hoping that the zombie sticks, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, <laughs> so uh, the message is get bitten by a vampire and you go fast in cycling. <laughs> All right. Okay, thanks Andy. Thanks, yeah, right, 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 right. So uh, next week, we don't know who we're going to meet yet, but uh, uh, we'll probably have a break because we also... Uh, have two weeks or three weeks off uh, till the road season is off and I have to go to Belgium unfortunately because uh, I have to pay my respect to one of my guest mothers who died last week so uh, I will be offline for a while but uh, uh, we see you in a, in, a few, uh, in a month time as such. Okay, thank you.